But first tonight, city leaders say they are prepared for the influx of visitors coming here for spring break. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jeremiah Marshall. Drew Spire has the night off. During a press conference earlier this morning, leaders announced some improvements and unveiled an action plan. Take a look. Massive crowds, families, college students and folks from all over are expected to make their way to the beach. For Peter Zanoni, this will be his first spring break here in Corpus Christi as city manager. He says many improvements have been made, such as filling potholes, new roads and grass at the park's cut. Yet a major issue visitors need to know about, the dangers of rip currents. Signs have been placed along the beach so visitors will be aware. The city says they are taking proactive steps. We also have volunteers that will be handing out uh, informational pamphlets and bracelets and just letting people know, be careful of the waters because they can be very dangerous. The Corpus Christi Police Department says they will be adding more officers on patrols at the beach and nearby areas, even if many won't be at the beach. Now, if the beach ends up not being real busy, we'll send the extra units downtown or where the people seem to be gathering at. So if you do decide to go to the beach for spring break, there are a few rules you need to follow. There will be no glass containers allowed on the beach. Campfires are allowed, but they must be restricted. Absolutely no pallets on the beach. If you decide to park on the beach, you must have a beach permit. And lastly, the city says keep the beaches clean. But in addition to that, we also have trash bag stations along the way and, and plenty of trash cans for individuals to leave it better than they found it. And that's the campaign. Leave it better than you found it. And the city says they want visitors to have a fun time, but to do so safely.